Hey everyone, thank you for joining us for today's webinar on the benefits of contract management. My name is Ben Sengem and I'm a collaboration specialist with Doc365. A uh, quick overview for today's webinar. I'll start off by sharing a little bit about who we are and discuss why businesses need contract management, including the benefits of having a solution like ours. And then we'll roll into the Doc's live CMS demo environment. And lastly, we will have a Q&A session at the end where you can ask your questions in the chat or you can just ask using your microphone. So Doc365 is a Microsoft Gold certified partner. We specialize in business productivity, employee communication, collaboration and solutions. Uh, we have 16 years of experience building enterprise solutions for uh, companies utilizing the Office 365 platform. We started out building enterprise solutions uh, like large intranets for uh, pretty large uh, companies. Typically these initiatives uh, would take you know, upwards of $100,000 and took upwards of you know about a year to deploy. And since then, we developed a system to develop custom intranets uh, for a fraction of the cost and only four to six weeks to deploy. Uh, since then, we've listened to our customers and started developing additional solutions to work off their Office 365 environment. And basically, the uh, goal is to have a solution for every department and to maximize the investment companies made with Office 365. Uh, so some of the productivity solutions, which are part of our platform today, which you can see here. Uh, of course, we have our intranet portal, uh, like I said before, four to six weeks for a custom intranet, and it also comes complete with a mobile app. Uh, we have our project management solution, which can be used to manage your marketing projects, IT uh, projects, or any other project to collaborate with team members and task management. Uh, we have an HR system, which helps to keep track of employee data, makes employee onboarding and offboarding easy. And then we also have a learning management solution which helps to your internal training needs by easily uploading you know, course content and automatically assigning to uh, individuals or groups. And then we have an employee performance management solution which helps you to automate the review process. We also have a CRM solution to help keep track of leads, contacts, and opportunities uh, for your sales department. And then we also have a help desk system for ticketing, an asset management system, an expense reporting application. And also we're uh, that'll be released in the next few months. So uh, why do you need a contract management? Um, without the adoption of a formal contract management system, you're likely um, using spreadsheets to keep track of data and possibly storing your contracts in a disheveled you know, drive for minimal organization or even paper contracts and filing cabinets. So when businesses use these outdated methods, they'll find out that they have a hard time keeping track of expiring contract deadlines. And this means that you um, essentially don't have enough time to negotiate new contracts and end up buying at a higher price or also staying, um, having trouble staying within you know, compliance. Uh, companies having a hard time to locate contracts or even who to contact from vendors or even you know, their own employees um, who own the contracts. Uh, manual processes can drag out costing uh, time and money and certificates of insurance can expire posing a liability to your company. It can also be difficult to track uh, quotes from vendors. So a contract management solution can help with the you know better efficiencies and risk uh, management, like tracking expiring certificate of insurance to reduce exposure and automatic workflows to increase productivity. Um, improved financial optimization to easily monitor where money is being spent and which departments are spending the most. Also increased contract uh, visibility. Uh, you can easily find your contracts and who to contact. And then also, of course, insured uh, assured contract compliance. Um, so the benefits of utilizing a solution yeah. based on Office 365 well, for contract it's, management. Um, for one, security. All the data is stored securely on Office 365 tenant, so you can control data, which means less risk in data theft and hacking. It also reduces IT costs, so you don't have to maintain a server. Um, you have single sign-on for all your apps and on your uh, Office 365 environment, including contract management. Uh, you are able to share documents and information and control which employees or departments are able to edit or view information and documents in the solution. Um, it also offers <coughs> excuse me, contract version history, which allows you to be able to see version history of documents as amendments are made, particularly to contracts. Um, we can also integrate with uh, Adobe Sign or DocuSign, um, so you can send contacts. So you can send contacts, uh, 
contracts to be signed or you can sign them yourself as well and send them to people. Uh, we also have the ability to have workflows for approvals, which automate, uh, you know, which managers need to uh, be assigned to approve what contracts. Uh, so with that being said, we'll go ahead and then jump into the live demo environment. And like I said, if you have any questions, uh, we'll have a little Q&A session at the end where you, you can, of course, use the chat feature or use your microphone. Uh, so right here, we do have our uh, dashboard for the contract management solution. Um, it's going to give you a nice layout of um, pretty much all the contracts within your company. You know, up top here, we have um, contracts that are expiring in 30 days. So when you're logging into your contract management, you're going to get kind of a, um, a bird's eye view. Um, contracts are expiring. Uh, here we have the total value of active contracts, uh, the number of contracts within your company, and then the number of vendors that you're essentially dealing with. Uh, we have a bar graph here to show you know, the, the expenditure of each department, which departments are spending the most. Um, we have contracts by type via interactive uh, pie graph and contracts by stage as well. So I'm going to uh, jump over here to the contracts tab. I'm going to give you a kind of a layout of the contract management solution, and then uh, I'll show you how to basically generate a contract and some of the workings of that. Um, so as I click the contracts tab, you can see all the contracts uh, within your company. You can easily search for contracts as well. So if I was looking for a particular contract, it comes up fairly quickly. You can also search uh, contracts by expiring days here. Um, and then you'd be able to filter through all your contracts using uh, you know, parameters such as you know, who in your company owns that contract, the risk levels, um, expiring dates, or you know, departments, or even locations. So all your different offices. Um, so I'll go over here to the vendors tab. And you can see all the vendors you're essentially working with. Uh, same concept with this tab. You can search through easily to find a particular vendor. And we also have the filter function as well to be able to easily find uh, a certain set of uh, vendors. You can also import. And with this button here, you can uh, make a new vendor as well. I'll just jump into one of these really quick so we can see what the layout of uh, the vendor tab looks like. Um, so we see kind of the name, the type of service it is. Um, you know, which uh, uh, employee owns that particular vendor. You'll have all their contact information, uh, the rating level, the risk, any documents um, particular to that vendor you can store right in here uh, with this DMS. Um, and you'll be able to see, you know, like um, certificate of its certificates of insurance, which you can assign expiring dates. So the, you know, the vendor owner uh, within your company will kind of get notifications for example if you wanted um, certificate insurance notifications the guys talking <laughs> yeah uh do you guys hear me yeah if, uh, if you don't mind muting your microphone if uh if you don't have a question that would be great um you can also search through your uh, documents right here and then you can see the contact information uh for the people uh, within that vendor and then you'll be able to see all the contracts associated with that vendor as well. So under the budget tab here, you'll be able to manage your budget. So here we have the budget for the fiscal year 2020. Um, so we'll go ahead and enter some fictitious numbers just to give us an idea. And we'll be able to see how this is affected by contracts as we make a new contract. So we set the, you know, as you, need, you know, figure out where your um, budget lies, you'll be able to, you know, fill this in. Uh, you can give it a title. So this will be for the fiscal year 2020. And we set the dates right here for when we want it to be effective. So we can go ahead and save that. And then we'll jump down into the settings right here. And um, so we have a workflow. So essentially with the workflow is you'll be able to assign um, a, a contracts to be approved. So if you're you know, using the same um, contract that needs to be approved constantly, you can make these workflows yourself, these templates, so that you don't have to constantly notify the manager they need to be, you know, the contract needs to be approved and then it gets sent off to the next approver. So you can automatically make these templates right here so I'll go ahead and make a new one. 
and we'll give it a title right here. We'll say IT, IT systems. And then we have a, a couple of options right here uh, for the template. We can use workflow level by approval type. Um, and so with this, you can, um, you know, who you assign to approve the contract, um, only one of those approvers re is required from each stage or all approvers for approval is required. Um, you can also do auto apply to new contracts that you set within these parameters. So uh, location, so if you have a contract that's in your California office, you know, that's for computer repair, for example, and then it's, you know, greater than, you know, $10,000, then it would automatically sign this contract. And for this example, we'll uncheck that. We'll just go with the all approvers approvals required. So in my uh, fictitious company, I have a three-stage approval process, three managers uh, that need to approve a contract for IT. So we'll say it's stage one, Joe needs to approve it, and you can change the title of this if you'd like. IT admin, you can leave a note as well. And then we'll give Joe four days to approve this particular contract. At stage two, we can say the director needs to approve. And we'll say Adele is the director. And then we'll give her seven days to approve. And lastly, at stage three, we can say the CFO is the last one. Oh my gosh. Let me try that again. So we'll say Joe, five days, Adele, seven days, and Alex. So here we have our uh, workflow, we'll give him four days. And then, so we have a three-stage approval process in my particular company, and then we can add documents as well uh, to these workflows. So anytime, um, you know, for IT, um, we can include these documents for this workflow so it always pops up. Uh, so in this example, we have approval best practices. We'll include that. We have an approval checklist. We'll include that. And then if you wanted to add something like a, maybe a contract template as well, you, you could do that as well. So we'll go ahead and save that workflow. It's going to take a second to create it. All right, so workflow is added successfully. So we'll go ahead and close this. And then we'll go ahead and jump into the contracts tab. We'll go ahead and make a new contract. So we'll hit the new. And then we'll do, uh, we're gonna do an example that everybody can kind of relate to, internet for example. So contract name, internet providers. So uh, we're gonna leave the vendor name blank for now because we're gonna shop around um, the different internet providers and kind of uh, so you can give us the best quote. Uh, so for the type, we'll just set this to uh, you know manage services for now. Um, effective date, I know we're shopping for next year. So December 31st. Let's say it's low risk level. And then, you know, the department obviously probably be information technology. We're shopping for our California office. Shopping for internet providers. Okay. And then we'll give it a permission group. So, you know, what, what group is able to, um, you know, see or have access to this particular contract. We'll say Joe is the owner of the contract, so he's going to receive notifications when this contract's getting ready to expire. Um, also, some of the, you know, if he was, you know, the, the vendor uh, con contract owner, um, then he would get notifications, for example, when the certificate of insurance exp is expiring, et cetera. Uh, so we'll hit save here. We'll make the new contract. Uh, we're not going to uh, assign a workflow quite yet. Okay, and then we'll come over here into quotes as we're shopping around uh, for the different uh, vendors. So here we'll say AT&T Internet, and 
then we'll assign the vendor. So AT&T has already been added as a vendor in the system. Uh, so all their information is already in our system. So uh, we'll say they quoted us, uh, you know, $700 a month. And then you can, you know, uh, put an explanation here as you're kind of shopping around. Uh, you can also add maybe a proposal that they've, you know, sent to you. And then we'll go ahead and save that. And then maybe we call, for example, Comcast. And they have T1 internet. And then we'll go ahead and add them. We'll say it was 950. And then maybe Spectrum internet. And we'll say it was 1200 a month. Okay. And now we see the different quotes as you know, we're kind of shopping around, we're negotiating. Um, so with Comcast, they have very fast, you know, T1 at a, a decent price. So we'll just say Comcast. So we'll save that note here. And then we can go ahead and choose quote. And this is, do you want to change the vendor in the, in the contract page? So we'll confirm that. And you'll see that the, you know, the green button here has been illuminated. So we know that's who we went with. And then all their information is filled right here. So the contract will get assigned to um, the Comcast within the vendors tab as well. Um, so we can also, um, we'll go ahead and add a contract line. Let's see how much it was. So it was 950. So we'll add uh, the contract line here. We'll say internet service provider is the item. And we'll say quantity would be you know 12 months and um, cost 950 a month. So we can see the total cost right there. And you'll be able to see the budget and how it affects it as well. And then under documents, you can add the uh, contract for Comcast. So you'll be able to see that. Um, you'll be able to see, you know, version history as well. So if the contract gets amended, you'll be able to see uh, the different versions of it as well. Um, like I said before, we have integration, you know, with uh, some of the signing apps like Adobe Sign or DocuSign. So this is the SharePoint library. So you can take this contract and you'd be able to get signatures so which would essentially send it off to you know anybody via email and then once they sign it it'll automatically get uh, the signed contract will automatically get posted right back into the contract management solution and you can also sign it yourself right from here as well um, so with the workflow um, this needs to be uh, approved now so does this contract need a workflow we'll say yes it does so we'll add a workflow Take a second for that list to generate. Okay, here's the workflow we just made, IT. We'll submit that. And I'll just take a minute to initialize. Okay, so here's our three-stage approval process uh, for anything related to IT. Um, we see the um, some of the documents we uploaded for that workflow, they automatically populated here. We see that the first approver is a Dell. Um, so in this first stage, a Dell's gonna need to approve it. Um, a Dell can essentially, you know, write notes in here. And then you'll be able to see the uh, notes as well. Right, here's the reverse comments. and you'll be able to see the notes right there. Um, so we can start workflow. And let me see, who's Joe? So essentially, you know, as Adele would need to uh, approve this workflow, um, she would see the approve, reject, or needs more info button. So if she approved it, 
It would go on to the second stage where Alex would need to approve it. He would see those three buttons here. And then lastly, Joe would need to approve it. Um, and if it's need more info, essentially uh, the contract owner who is Joe in this instance, he would get a notification um, that it needs more info or if it was rejected, he would get a notification on that as well. Under the notes tab here, um, you can enter notes uh, for this contract. Um, you can see the history of everything that's happened within that contract. Um, we have a reports function over here under this tab. We have a can, a can reporting function. Um, you'd be able to search by you know vendor report, expiring report, or if you have Officer 65, hopefully, then you can use your Power BI and generate reports right here and it'll have the report generate right from this tab. Under the settings, uh, we also have you know, the ability to really amend any of the vendor settings, the types of service, uh, contract types, you know, your different office locations, uh, the different products, maybe the category. Um, this is the workflow template where you can generate the approval templates. And then right here you can um, edit the permissions. So who has the you know, ability to have full control of contract management and you'd be able to add you know, that individual right here. Um, permission to create contracts, approval workflow, you can add that permission and you can edit these of course, and then you know, contract members, so the people that only have permission to read the contracts. Um, under the group right here, uh, you can add, you know, so Joe maybe might be an IT, so you can add him into the IT group. So it really kind of gives you um, the autonomy to create um, or be able to edit who can do what within the solution itself. Um, so right there. Um, so that's really the uh, contract management uh, solution. Uh, if you'd like to schedule a demo or find more information, you can email me at ben at mydoc365.com or log into mydoc365.com. Uh, thank you so much, and uh, we look forward to working with you in the future.